Hi guys. Why is it that every time I come across you two, you're always staring into each other's eyes? Hey guys. Ah, what are you doing here? Well, I decided since I don't go to school, I might as well just uh, start here. You know, so it doesn't look suspicious. Um. Well, um, you just made it even more suspicious by shouting it out. Oops! You are loud. Oh, um, hi. So, um, did you want to come and see my town after school, maybe? I don't see why I couldn't, um, I don't think I'm busy today. Hey, he sounds kind of weird. That's because we don't necessarily trust him. Oh, why couldn't I tell? I've got to go. We should follow him. No. Let it be. Whoa. What? That corgi is so pretty. Hi. Uh, hi. My name's Drake. <laughs> What's yours? My name's Violet. Violet? That's pretty. I am named after a flower. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it's a pretty flower. <laughs> Thanks. Not too many people seem to like him. I don't trust him because he lives near me. Wait a minute. He lives near you? Yes. I'm probably gonna sound a little crazy, but... Do you know if he's a warlock? I see I'm not the only one. Wait, you... And I don't mean to, um, spot it out, but the Dotson he likes to chat with, is she a witch? She is, and I don't know if you could tell my aura, but I'm a sorcerer. I've always known you were. I just never said anything because, well, I try not to talk about these sort of things to other people because, well, we're different. Yeah, I get what you mean. You're a cool kind of different to me. <laughs> what is it, Ruby? The girl. I would like to meet her, Brandon. She, she seems, seems very trustworthy. trustworthy. Well, that's kind of a weird thing that you would say. I know, but I trust her. Violet, there's someone who wants to meet you. She isn't, well, like us. This is gonna sound weird, but she's like my pet. But, you know, she would just like to meet you. Okay, um, when? Just sometime you're free. Sounds good to me. Just let me know where I should meet you. Do you know where the sign that, um, well, marks the boundary between Willowsville and Silverville? Yes. Meet me in the woods there. Sounds good to me. It's away from humans. <laughs> what the flying fish are they talking about? Um, all alone. 
There's no one here beside me. Sorry. I have a huge question for you. When are you gonna kiss me? Paige, this is going to be my first kiss. Okay? I don't know how to kiss. I don't know when I'm going to kiss you, but I do know that I want it to be really special. So, why don't we, well, uh, wait until I believe it's a nice, special moment. Alright, you got a deal? But it better be super special. Okay, I just... I... I'm not good with the romance stuff. Well, that's quite obvious. Hey, I can't help I was raised like that. Violet, might I have this honor of being your friend and having a possible growth into romance? Why, that would be swell, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you be more like him? Well, Paige, if you really want me to give you my hand or paw in romance, then fine. Let's just stick to non-romantic Brennan. That's what I thought. Hi. You seem awfully troubled. Oh, well. It's nothing. Well, are you ready? Yep. Then let's go. I'll just get root beer to fly us. <whistles> nice to see you, buddy. Wow, you two are actually getting along today. Well, he hasn't really given me a reason to be rude to him today. Ah! Well, there it is. I hope you don't mind me while pointing this out, but... I sense a lot of sorrow from you. I've never told anyone about this, but you just seem... Well, I... I... Sometimes I just... I want to tell someone about this, about how I feel, but my uncle, he believes that telling someone about your problems and expressing how you feel makes you seem weak. That doesn't make you seem weak at all. I believe it's healthy for somebody to vent. If you keep all of your feelings trapped inside of that bottle, it's going to fill up to the point where the pressure is going to make it explode. Let's walk away from here in case you were to hear.